I, I apologize. I realized that yesterday I didn't shoot anything, and I uh, I said in my last video I didn't do anything on Friday. I did something on Friday. <laughs> That's what I did. Um, I didn't do anything yesterday, and I apologize. Uh, my camera did actually end up screwing up on me trying to fix it. It didn't work to my advantage. I eventually was able to find a way to get it done, fix it up. It's back to new. Yes! Finally! Victory is mine! <laughs> but I do want to talk in this video about something that I brought up last week. The question that was brought up to me was XP or Milestone Level Up. And I told you that I prefer the XP Level Up over the Milestone. It's funny though. Because in the campaign that I run, we have an NPC. Now, the NPC does not take XP. It's up to the discretion of myself for when the character levels up. Everybody is currently at level 4. And I have to make the decision on whether or not she does. Now, the character, her name, the NPC's name is Marisha. Okay, no, no, um, no tie-ins to Critical Role. No tie-ins at all. She is the owner of the Sunny Orange in Lorehold, which, yes, I understand that is a Strixhaven college name, but it's the first thing that I thought of when I was creating cities, so don't ask. Uh... Her parents had a whole a home in Southwindale, which is where they traveled to, fixed the home up, and she is joining the party as an NPC that my player is is um, rolling for. One of the player characters that we have is rolling for her. Actually, I'll tell you the person who's rolling for Eddie, Messy E K, um, who works with me on videos at the store. He's rolling for Marisha's character because there's a secret like little love thing going on between his character and her anyway. I can choose whether or not to level her up or have her be where she's at. She's at level three if I believe. So now I'm thinking because this kind of shoots a little bit with what I was saying last week. Because I still am and I've always been a fan of the XP level up idea. Okay? And by the way, this, this entire campaign is funny. We have a Kanku, we have a Tiefling, an Artificer, uh, I believe he's a monk. I think that's what his my girlfriend's character is. And we have... A rabbit folk. Who's a wizard? The great and powerful Aster. He has friends. He has a bodyguard who's a paladin. Dragonborn paladin. He's got friends, which is a stretch. A bodyguard. Dragonborn paladin. And interns. Thank you. Mostly. <laughs> which, by the way, my friend who's playing the Kanku has about three to four pages full of stuff that the other members of the group have said and she's even hit me a couple times which is scary it's scary as hell and apparently the duck Aflac McStuffins the Nth has re-emerged into this campaign they now also have an owl bear who travels with the party because the Kanku decided to be a good idea. Piece of jerky. Piece of jerky. Piece of jerky. Piece of jerky. All the way. And it's just like family. The Albao looks at, ooh, piece of jerky. Ooh, piece of jerky. And just kind of like the whole family guy, ooh, piece of candy idea. Yeah. I've run a crazy campaign. There's a lot of shenanigans, but they do manage to get to whatever job they need to. So why not?
Why not? Why not throw a little bit of shenanigans in there in the in the uh, in the case of it all, to kind of break up the monotony of of just go there, do this, look for this, do this task, go to the next place. Doing doing what they're doing with everything, it breaks up the monotony and it makes it a little bit better. It actually, in my opinion, it makes it run better. Because, yes, while they have a little bit of the monotony, they still continue to go to certain spots in certain cities and do what they want. It makes sense. But, back to the main point. With Marisha and Akaros, I need to think whether or not I'm leveling up I'm leveling up Marisha or not. And I know it's, I can do milestones. I can do milestones. The thing is, I don't know which way to go about it. I can give her I can give her a milestone and then have her level up from there. XP XP wise, but I don't think that'd be beneficial. I really don't. So I'm I'm gonna use the milestone idea. I have to, I think, because it's only fair to do it that way with the character. Um, but now it makes me think because, you know, I love the XP way to level up, and this is just having me change it. And. I apologize, guys. I'm not going to edit any of this out. I'm just going to get right down to it. But the, the, doing the whole thing with the milestones for Marisha is going to make it a little bit different for me. It's going to be a little bit weird because I'm so used to giving out XP. I'll just have to tell people, look, you know, you guys level, so will she. I think it's kind of the right way to go about it. Because they're doing so much right now with the campaign. They're doing so many different ways to make money and sorry an adventure and do everything they need to do so yeah I think I'm just going to keep it the way I've always kept it and just let them know it seems like it's an logical explanation it really does um yeah I want to know what you guys think I really do want to know what you guys think Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you're interested and hit the notification bell as well. And be notified every time I drop videos. I have two coming up tomorrow and I know exactly what they are. I'll see you guys for them tomorrow. Peace out everyone.